Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? The last time or one of the last times we spoke, we talked about a garden, grow, garden, grow. Now we're going to talk about Mrs. Green's garden, and it's by Betsy Seltzer as well. It's a little different, though. This is Mrs. Green. She grows flowers and vegetables. So last time it was a tomato plant, this time it's flowers. She sells her plants at a farmer's market. She needs to keep her plants healthy. When plants are healthy, they look green and strong. Like even though this is an artificial one, it looks healthy. Let's just pretend like Mrs. Green's plants look different today. Some leaves are turning yellow. Some flowers are falling down. She cannot sell these plants at the farmer's market. Mrs. Green's plants must be sick. Why are they sick? So see they're drooping and the petals are falling off. They're sick. She looks at the seeds in her garden and the seeds are under the soil, but they are not sprouting. They should be growing into seedlings, which we talked about, which were tiny little plants. Seeds need water and air. The seeds need to be warm too. Did the seeds have enough water, air, and warmth? Okay, so they need water, which we have here. They need air, and since I'm not outside, we got a little fan, this makes air. And they need warmth, and you get that from the sunlight. So see the light of the sun on the plant. So Mrs. Green moves her seeds to a warm place. She sprays the seeds with water, and the water will help the seeds sprout. Then the seeds can grow into seedlings. So see, she moved it to the window. There's sun and she watered them. See her spritzing them. She looks at a plant in her garden. The leaves are yellow, but the leaves should be green. So these leaves here, the leaves on her plant are turning. Whoa, I got so much stuff over here. The leaves are turning yellow. They should be green, same color as ours. They should be green leaves. The leaves should be green. Plants need sunlight and air to make food. This makes the leaves look green. Does this plant have enough sunlight and air? I don't know. The leaves are turning yellow. Mrs. Green moves the plant into the sunlight. The leaves take in sunlight and the leaves take in the air too. Now the plant will have sunlight and air and the plant can make food. This helps the plant grow green and strong. So she moved it into the sunlight. See the light shining on the plant and into the air. So it has sunlight and air to help this plant grow and be strong. But Mrs. Green looks at another plant in her garden. The stem is drooping, so the stem is going like that. The stem should be tall and strong, tall and strong. Plants need water to grow tall and strong. Plants need water to make food too. Do you think this plant has enough water? Mrs. Green waters the plant. The roots take in water from the soil, so from the dirt, the roots underneath take in the water. And the roots, yeah, taking the water from the soil, the roots take in other things from the soil too. The stem carries water and other things to other parts of the plant. So the stem carries 
pots up to the other pots of the plant. This helps the plant grow. So she watered her plant. Mrs. Green looks at the flower in her garden. The flowers have no petals. The flowers should have red petals. Flowers need water, sunlight, and the air to grow. Do the flowers have enough water? Do they have enough sunlight? Can you see the light on the plant? And do they have enough air to grow? Mrs. Green waters the flowers. She puts them in the sunlight. Now the flowers will grow. The flowers are important and they help make more flowers. So she watered them. She put them in the sunlight. Okay, and they're outside so they have ear to grow. Mrs. Green's plants are not sick anymore. She gives them the sunlight, water, and air that they need to grow. Now her plants can go green and strong, and she sells all her of her plants at the farmer's market. So now look how healthy and strong they are. <clears throat> Their stems are not drooping. They're straight. There's flowers. The petals are not falling off. They're beautiful flowers. So. Who is this story about? Oh, I don't have a pen. Oh, here it is. Was the story about Mrs. Green, Chantel, or Drew? And we said it constantly. It's a Mrs. Green. The story is about Mrs. Green and her plants. What does she grow? Oh, I just gave the answers. Sand and stone, trees, or flowers and vegetables. She grows flowers and vegetables. What takes in sunlight? The rivers, the leaves, or the mountains, the leaves take in all the sunlight. What can make food? The soil, the house, or the plant? So the soil makes food. And that goes into the plant. And then what carries water to other parts of the plant? Is it the stem, the sun, or an insect? It's the stem carries water to other parts of the plant. So if you decided to Make a plan or plan a little garden. Now you know what you need. You need air, you need water, and you need plenty of sunlight. This is fun. Until next time, have a wonderful day.